Oh my goodness, the worst that you could ever get. Absolutely a disaster waiting to happen. Hello guys and welcome back to Artisan Electrics where today we're looking at some shocking electrics from around the world. A few months ago I was in France where I found some really dodgy stuff and I asked you guys in that video that I made to send in your clips and some of our wonderful viewers from all around the world have sent in some crazy discoveries that they've made. So I hope you enjoy this collection collection of shocking electrics. If you do, don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And let's get into it. By the way, today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. More about that later. Our first clip comes in from Norway. Our viewer Haug has sent us this. That is nuts. So this is some kind of thermostat that was on the wall and he said, no idea why. There was some kind of arcing going on inside and at that moment, the whole thing just exploded. <laughs> uh, he was lucky to not be hurt actually. So thanks Howard for sending that in, absolutely shocking. So this one comes in from Richard. This is from India and he made a shocking discovery. I'll read you his comment. He says, this is a picture I took when I was on a business trip to Chennai back in 2010. Our driver told us that a lot of electricity is stolen in India. And this was a great example of where people were tapping in to the supply illegally. So you can see here, these are the overhead lines and people have literally come along with wires and just wrapped them around the overhead lines and then trailed off in order to power up their house or their little business or whatever it might be but there are tons of them i mean some people would be seriously gutsy to go up there and basically touch those overhead lines to wrap a wire around them absolutely mad thanks richard for sending that in so this one's from krish now i know krish he's been in touch with me before he's out in india too and he's just sent in this three minute clip i'm just going to watch it and react to it oh my goodness straight away it's like death trap i mean how do people even get away with doing electrics like this how do they survive like whoever did this i would really question whether they're still alive if they're doing work like this on a regular basis the armored cables just not landed in or anything it's just strung in and then all these wires going in the top a massive gaping hole in the top of the enclosure metal enclosure not even earthed and then all these wires just strung in and kind of like twisted together <laughs> Goodness, that is absolutely shocking. I mean, part of it looks neat, and then it's like they've added to it and then just extended and extended. That part looks fairly neat, the way they've clipped the cables. Yeah, no grommet strip. <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder what the number of people who die of electrocution in India is compared to the number who die in the UK, you know? Because clearly in certain countries, you, know, you get a lot larger proportion of dodgy electrics because it's not the regulation that we maybe have here. They all twist the wires together and then tape them up. Nice, nice cable joint technique there. Well, thanks, Chris, for sending that in. I mean, that is just unbelievable, some of the stuff. You, you, if you're working as an electrician in a country like that, let us know in the comments some of you, the things that you've found because... I mean, it looks to me like you're kind of putting your life on the line every day just working as an electrician in a country like that. Absolutely mad. Our next picture is from Billy, who sent us this from a new build. This house was built in 2020, and this is what they left in the meter cupboard. So you can see this armoured cable that's come in here, um, which is obviously feeding the consumer unit in the house, but they've not glanded it in, they've not terminated it properly. They've taken a couple of little strands of the armoring to connect them into the main earth terminal to earth the sheath of the armored cable but it's just sticking out like just flailing out like that it's absolutely rubbish they've not identified the neutral conductor they've not put any blue sleeving on it or tape not identified the earthing conductor not put any green yellow on it it's just such a bodge job and unfortunately, we see this a lot in new builds here in the UK. I, I don't know why they think they can get away with it, but they just chuck these sub-main cables in. There's no switch fuse either. Quite likely it should have a switch fuse to protect it, you know. 
nothing. It's just strung straight off the main isolator. Absolutely shocking. Thanks, Billy, for sending that in. Our next clip comes in from Richard, who's not a Sparky, but he sent us this from when he was working under someone's desk as an IT guy. So this is a live extension lead, which has completely crumbled apart, but it was still live. Somebody could have put their foot on it and got absolutely shocked. Fortunately, Richard, our viewer, found it and presumably unplugged it and made the situation safer, but that could have been a really, really nasty accident waiting to happen. Thanks, Richard. Our next photo comes in from Tony. He took this picture in Lanzarote, presumably while on holiday, and he found this mass of exposed live electrical parts on the street, just 60 centimeters above the floor level. So within easy reach of children, pets, there's some serious heavy power in this picture and anyone could have touched that and basically they would have been a goner. And this is more common than you might think. The enclosure lid has just fallen off presumably and nobody's bothered to come and replace it. I saw a lot of stuff like this in France as well and I'm just amazed that these kind of things can just get left for people to potentially get seriously hurt by. So thanks Tony for sending that in. So before we get into the next epic video clip, which is insane, <laughs> Massive shout out to our channel members who really help to support the channel. And our latest Pringles for Life member, which is a higher tier membership, is Matty. Thank you so much for your support. Great shout out to you. Thanks for joining the artisan movement and becoming a member of our channel. And if you'd like to find out more about joining and becoming a member yourself, there's a join button next to subscribe and there's a little video to tell you what it's all about. So this next one is from Nick. He has sent two photos. And the first one is from Peru. And I just cannot believe what I'm seeing here. So you can see a some kind of shower head, and presumably a cheap way of taking a cold feed, heating the water up for a shower. It's got a cable going to it, which is wrapped around the shower thing. I mean, the shower head is, is strung up with a bit of string anyway. And then it's wired in off a switch which is literally just on the wall next to where you'd be taking the shower. Live parts exposed right next to where you're taking your shower. Single insulated conductors not fixed properly to the wall. I mean, it's pretty much the worst that you could ever get. You know, mixing water and electric is not a good idea. And this is absolutely a disaster waiting to happen. So thanks for sending that one in, Nick. And um, let's see what your next picture is. Right, so this is another shower. This one's from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And as you can see, there is a socket just above the shower enclosure feeding the shower. And he's got his thumbs up there going, well done whoever installed that. Again, I mean, the regs in England say that any, any sockets should be at least three meters from a shower or bath. This is literally in the shower enclosure. You could get that shower and just spray water all over that socket. Another disaster waiting to happen. Thanks for sharing, Nick. This next one's a video clip and it comes from Reese. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's literally on fire. <laughs> Okay, I mean this just shows the danger of electricity, you know, electrical arcing and sparking and then fire, it just choo, just goes up, you know, and this could of course a whole building fire. Lucky Reese was there to catch it on camera and presumably uh, arrange for it to be put out before it spread, but that could have been a serious, serious uh, loss of life because of that. I mean, it, it doesn't even bear thinking about. These next two pictures are from Brian and he sent us a little comment here. He says this, I went out to South Africa to help prepare my parents' home to be sold. Over the years, they have had trades people, in inverted commas, in to do work. And this is what I found. Sorry, no videos, but some stills. No covers and just generally shocking work. RCD did not work, so had to be replaced and no way to isolate supply comes straight in, no fuse at all. So this is the consumer unit and you can see, I mean, phew, no cover on it for a start. Massive alarm bells start to ring. That is the main RCD, which didn't trip according to him when he tried to test it. And then you've got all these funny like little links and connector blocks everywhere. Phew, 
just an absolute bodge job. Interesting, in South Africa they used to have different uh, wiring colours, so this white conductor is actually the, the identification of the line conductor that they used to have, and then they went over to the British standard colours. Um, but yeah, <laughs> interesting to see that one. Let's see the other picture that he's sent in. Okay, so this looks like some kind of water heater. And again, there's just no cover. And what they've done is they've strapped some kind of copper um, kind of all round band between the pipe and the metal casing of the tank. I guess some kind of attempt at bonding it, but it just looks like an absolute bodge. Thanks, Brian, really interesting. So this next video comes in from Andrew, who sent it in from Malaysia. He says, some quality consumer units from my apartment block in Malaysia. Not uncommon for the Sparky to use whatever cable is lying around as there are no inspections. You can use any colour wire in any application. Everywhere is all single core. Twin and earth is unheard of along with any CPC bonding, RCBOs, bathroom light, pull switches, etc. The list is endless. Thinking about it, in the 20 plus years living here, I've never seen a local Sparky with any type of testing meter only test light screwdrivers, or death sticks as we call them, or wet the finger. <laughs> so let's watch this and see what we find. <laughs> I was like waiting for it, like what? This doesn't look too bad. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is nuts. <laughs> oh no, that is terrible. <laughs> Oh no, oh, nuts. look at all those different colours, it's like rainbow spaghetti, <laughs> oh man, that is just, I mean where do you even begin to delve into with that, if you're trying to figure out what's what, that's absolutely impossible. I love this, we've got viewers from all over the world and some of the stuff that they're sending us in is absolute gold. Welcome as we continue on our world tour, this time we're in the Atacama Desert in South America. So this is from Steve and he says this was a semi-covered garage in the Atacama. Guests were told to use the light switch, bottom right. And I just cannot believe this. I mean, so we've got a light bulb hanging, or a lamp, which has just been twisted onto some overhead wires and then I can't see the light switch, but it's strung into the consumer unit here, which is completely open and exposed. Oh no, I can see it now, this. <gasps> no way. Okay, so this is the light switch. So it's just one of those little inline switches that you get on lamps, but they've just connected the two wires into it. And it's right next to this bare exposed consumer unit with all live parts everywhere. And that's what guests were told. So this is a, an establishment that you rent or something. This is nuts, absolutely nuts. Thank you, Steve, for sending that in. Incredible. I just want to tell you quickly about today's video sponsor, which is Tradeify. Tradeify is a job management software for tradespeople like us, electricians. It helps us to manage our business from doing our invoices, quotes, sending things out to customers, booking in the jobs. It makes our life so easy. Everything's on a mobile app and it's just super easy and streamlines your workflow. So if you'd like to find out more or get an amazing discount, head to the link in the description. You can get 50% off Tradeify for your first three months using our special discount code. Let's get back into it. Our next clip comes in from a viewer in Lebanon, Samir. I run a small electric service in Lebanon and this customer had no power in his 75 meter square flat. Just to let you know, it took me like five hours to power his flat back on. So let's watch this crazy clip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where do you even get started in fault finding an install like that? I mean everything is just kept tangled with everything else. <gasps> no way, look at that. Oh my goodness, they've just dobbed it in. They've like literally just dobbed the wire into the screw terminal on the circuit breaker. There's no, no proper connection there at all. Oh, they put a wedge in the contactor to just hold the contactor on. So it's just constantly on. Oh, look at that, they've just twisted the wires together. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, like, like look at that burning. Oh, look at that burning. Oh my. 
that has got to be one of the worst I've ever seen. That is absolutely insane. Like everything that could possibly wrong, be wrong with an installation, you just ticked all the boxes of what you could ever find wrong. That is absolutely nuts. Thank you, Samir, for sending that in. And I would love to know how on earth you managed to get everything up, up, back up and running in five hours. I mean, I'd end up rewiring that place and it'd take me five weeks, I think. We next head over to Burma where our viewer, Martin, has sent us a little picture and he says this. This is a photo of the state of wiring in our Burmese hotel room we stayed in a few years ago. They apologised saying they were doing some improvements. <laughs> uh, so you can see the wiring is just slung across the ceiling here and all these wires just trailing down into whatever. I mean, I presume some of these are live wires. There's no way of knowing for sure, but it's an absolute mess. Thanks for sending that in, Martin. Very, very interesting. So this next picture comes in from Michigan, one of our American viewers. His name is Matthew, and he's not really sharing shocking electrics, but shocking behavior of an electrician. Uh, is a little bit of a joke on him this one because he was trying to pull some cables through in the loft and he had a little accident and uh, this is the result. He fell through the ceiling straight through and he's completely smashed through the plasterboard there. Um, Matthew, I'm just glad you're okay and well, I guess you probably learned from that mistake and you won't do it again. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. This next one is an absolute corker. This one comes in from Gavin and uh, the uh, problem that he got called out to investigate was the uh, loft light not working. Well, he found this. Somebody decided to do a little bit of splicing on some twin and earth cable. Um, as you can see, not the best of cable joints going on here. And this one particularly, I'm just amazed that it hasn't shorted out with the CPC, the earth conductor there in that cable because it's so close, as you can see there. Um, and this one, they spliced in just to the neutral, just wrapped the wires around, run off of it with a blue single insulated wire. Absolute bodge. So I'm glad you found that and I'm glad you fixed that, Gavin. Thanks for sending it in. This one comes in from Sam. Sam is in the UK by the looks of it, and this is not the kind of electrics that we expect. Oh my goodness, I mean, look at this. So armored cable coming in, uh, just not properly terminated, straight through the box, doesn't even have a lid, into the consumer unit, swung over with way too much slack on the outside of the board, single insulated cables flex connected up with some kind of dodgy connector blocks mixture of circuit breakers in here let's see if i can zoom in a bit i mean look at that so that armored is presumably feeding this board and then you've got a whole mix of circuit breakers in there and then everything else just slung off absolutely rubbish thanks for sharing sam so it's time to choose my favorite clip because in that previous video i did say that there would be an amazon voucher in for the winner and I mean we've had some amazing clips guys thank you so much for all sending them in I have to say though my favorite is the one that came in from Samir in Lebanon so congratulations Samir there's an Amazon voucher 100 pound Amazon voucher heading over to you make sure we've got your email address we'll send that over to you so congratulations Samir um, but for all of you who submitted clips we really appreciate it and if you've enjoyed watching this video hit a thumbs up because it helps us to know that you've enjoyed it and then we can try and make more like this and if you're a viewer who has some other clips like these in your little archive please send them in to viewer.clips at artisanelectrics.co.uk if we get enough new clips coming through then we'll be able to make another one and whoever wins could be in chance to get an amazon voucher as well but either way thank you so much guys and just remember be safe and do great electrical work see you next time